Hey everyone, it's Viola from HSC here to tell you how you can join our group via our open auditions. So we had a really awesome 2018 um, and we're really revving to get into the 2019 season. Um, we had a lot of awesome things in 2018, a lot of awesome opportunities to do a lot of things. We held our um, actual, our first actual like real big panel at um, Fandom Fest, which is a very, very small con in New Jersey, um, as well as a lot of other things. We got new members and all of that, and we had a really awesome solo gathering at AUSA, and it was it was a really good year last year. We also picked up two new members, and I'll introduce them in a moment, um, but we actually recruited those new members through one of our newer programs that we have here at HSD. So basically how our referral program works is that we have a very special form that we pass on to prospective people, um, and th these are the other members that do this. Uh, other members will pass it on to prospective people who they feel like would be a very good fit for hard check dance, or maybe want to try out dancing, or you know, want to do anything like that, try out Orutemi Ta K-pop J-pop. Um, and then if we find that they're a good fit via their their submission, not necessarily their audition, but submission, well, it is also an audition, but um, yeah, if we find them a good fit through that, then we will usually add them to the group. So actually through that, we've actually added two more members to our lineup, and those two members are Lily Angelic and Pio. So I hope you welcome our new members with open arms. Um, if you wanted to know thing, more things about them, like their member colors and all of that, that will all be on our Facebook page, and that'll be posted along with this video. Um, right after all of this is done. So please just head there right after this video is over. What open auditions are as compared to the referral program, the referral program in particular is just for people that we personally know. Um, so this can be this can be just anyone, a friend, or anyone who we feel like has a very good fit for HSD. So the open auditions are more of our online outreach. If people want to join who just find us randomly and just like, hey, I want to join a dance group. Here you go. There you go. So this time the open audition period will be from January 16th to March 31st. During this period of time you'll be able to audition as an online convention or dual status member. Also, 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 if you really don't run a dancer position, we are also really, really excited to announce that we're also, 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 <laughs> processing staff applications as well. Please, 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 we are really in desperate need for staff. If you're interested in being staffed with us, please, 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 please stick around to the end of the video. There'll be a little bit more info on that. There's also a staff form in the description, so if you really just want to look at that, you guys can do that right away. So first off, I want to talk a little bit about life in the group. So essentially, like I was saying before, we actually have two main statuses and then the combined status, which is essentially the dual status. So essentially, we have our online activities, which essentially means that you will have to film one cover per applicable activity period, which would be essentially one cover every three months ish um, you are generally for that you are generally allowed to miss one upload and at least 50% of your covers need to be I mean sorry 50% of your uploads need to be covers this is something new that we're actually offering in 2019 so now this year we're going to do something a little bit different you may see a little bit more like activity videos like the member interviews and such like that um, there may be reactions that go in the channel. I don't know if we're gonna, I don't know what the other members will come up with, but maybe it'll be something interesting. Um, and hopefully it will be, um, of course, but those are all part of our 2019 plans as well. Um, but yeah, that is something new um, to look forward to that um, maybe some members will um, do another type of video other than just a dance cover. And then there's the convention centers, which essentially means that you really only participate as a hard check dance member at conventions. So this can include things like gatherings, things like panels, um, things like participating in the group cover. Um, that's a really big thing for convention members so that they can, you know, get also, also get some exposure online as well. And for the convention members, you only really have to attend one convention a year. Um, this usually is in the mid-Atlantic, so it's usually like Katsu, Otakon, um, Colossal Con East, so we haven't done Colossal Con East yet, but we want to. Um, and, you know, many things like within the area, Anime and MyC, why not? Um, not a lot of members are keen on going to that, but I'll probably be there. And then there's the dual status, which essentially means that you just do both at the same time. Um, so you just have to be able to cover all your responsibilities, all of that, and then, yeah, you can be a dual status member. Otherwise, we have quarterly voice calls, um, which you are really expected to attend, and then, you know, we also take notes for that. Um, so if you're just really um, busy and stuff like that, we really try to make it easy so that you get all the information that you need um, and that it's convenient. So, yeah, that's generally lacking the group in a nutshell. 
Okay, it's serious time now. Audition rules. So, the very important thing that you really need to know, especially if you're going for a convention status, is that you must at least be 16 years old if you're going to hold any convention status. Now that aside, the online status has no age limit, but you should get a parent's permission before audition for Heart Shot Dance. So, we got the important thing out of the way. The first thing you need to audition is you need to go into the description. And there is a form there that you must fill out to audition for the group. We cannot um, take any other auditions unless they are not in that form. So if you don't fill out that form, you can't really audition for Heart Shot Dance. Sorry. So in that form that you need to go to below, you also need to submit a sample of you dancing. Now, this video cannot be any older or uploaded before October 16th. Um, this is very, very important because this shows us how you are currently um, and just how your dancing skill is right now. Now, you can also include a brand new video specifically for the Heart Shot Dance auditions. All you just have to do is label it Heart Shot Dance Audition and then whatever the cover um, of it is, like whatever the title of the song is, um, whatever you want. Um, it is preferred that, uh, that the dance be longer than a minute and a half um, just so that we can get a good sense of your skill. You can also submit multiple videos, but you cannot submit more than three videos. Of course, all three videos do have to follow the um, it can't be older than three months ago rule. So that's all you really need to audition. And it's not required, but we do have an open auditions Facebook group. Um, so if you want to interact with our current membership or anything like that, um, then you definitely also want to check down in the description just to see if there's anything there. Um, in that group that may interest you and you can talk with our current membership and you know just you know shoot around ideas stuff like that and if you just want to um, chat hang out with us talk about talk to us about like life in the group that's very good as well next up is the judging criteria yes we're actually including that in this video I actually thought it'd be very very helpful for people to understand um, what they're being judged on and you know what other things that they could do um, to step up their game and become a member of Heart Shot Dance. So for overall, for all of our applicants, what we're looking for is your overall presence. Are you having fun performing the dance? Are you, are we enjoying watching you? Um, is everything, you know, good? Are your feet in the shot? Can I see your entire body? Can I see all of your movements? Are you filming on a potato? Don't film on potato. <laughs> and honestly, also your potential for growth. Um, even if you're not the best of dancer, but if you really, really put the effort in and try, um, then we definitely want you in HSC because we want you to help you grow um, into a better dancer or a better odorita or, you know, whatever that may be. For online members, here's the things that we're more or less looking for. So, reasonable camera quality. For example, I'm filming this on my phone. That's okay quality. Um, what we're more looking for is just like a a, a pretty steady 30 frames per second. Um, try not to film on a webcam, just so long as we can, you know, see it with a good reasonable frame rate and a good resolution. Like, it doesn't need to be HD, but it should be at least reasonable quality. I would probably say 720, 30 frames per second for, you know, camera terms. We're also looking for good video compositions. Um, are you just dancing in the same place that you always dance in or are you taking risks and going outside sometimes it's okay to sometimes not go outside I totally get that <laughs> you know also try to like change up your scenery even if it's just shift your angle just very very slightly I do want to see you at least you know try something new um, if you're making especially if you're making a new video and then your capability of editing um, is your audio synced up or things do things look okay in the video is the composition again it's, it's more of a composition thing just make it look nice <laughs> and then here's the criteria for the convention statuses so basically being very very aware of your space um, where other people would be in the formation of course that's not going to be very read well on a solo cover um, but of course you know making sure that you're in the camera and that you're not like running off of the camera just to do things that's um, very very important especially for us and then a lot of things on the convention side have to do with your written application. Um, are you able to make the conventions that we go to? Things like that. And then also do your dances read well? Um, of course, you know, I'm imagining that the convention people will not have as strong um, video quality, but sometimes, you know, those can read a little bit better than otherwise they would. So, yeah. But of course you should still have a reasonable frame rate, so I can just tell what you're doing because sometimes it's kind of hard to tell that. Okay, so that is it. If 
you are a dancer. If you've stuck around and you're still really interested in being staff, please, please, listen right now. So about the staff roles, we will be looking for staff roles until they are filled. We really, really, really need staff badly. Please, I do everything myself. Help me. <laughs> We're definitely always open to having people for convention staff, but we'd really, really like some online and social media staff just so that we can push out help, push out content, um, and so we can focus, so we can have our members focus on dancing and stuff like that. So that'd be really, really helpful to us if you had the skills and wanted to apply for staff. Yes. So again, if you are really interested in joining staff. Please, 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 please look in the description for the staff application. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being interested in Hard Chat Dance. So if you have any more questions, comment below. Um, send us some messages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We do have an Instagram now. We just don't really use it. We'll, we're going to work on that too in 2019. But we'll be very, very happy to answer your questions. Anything at all that you have concerning the auditions, we'll be there to answer it. Otherwise, this has been Viola and we hope that you continue to shoot for your dreams. Your auditions.